My name is Ken McClellan. I'm the president and CEO of Enviro Resolutions Incorporated. Enviro Resolutions is based in Vancouver, Canada. The air pollution abatement systems that we have designed are proprietary and patented by our company. We remove uh, particulate matter, acid gases, and a certain uh, amount of metals from the gas streams of coal, biomass, uh, municipal solid waste and diesel uh, exhaust gas streams. The effectiveness of the NV Clean system is such that uh, in addition to meeting the uh, environmental regulations in Canada and the EPA uh, emissions for sulfur in the U.S., it's sufficient to meet the uh, environmental agency and WID requirements in the UK. So we're taking raw gas from up there in that set of breaching there and bringing it down to a, initially a multi-cyclone uh, system that's that black box behind the white banner. So as the gas comes down from the multi-cyclone and we go past our sampling point, it goes through the multi-cyclone where we have the coarse particulate removal occurring. The multi-cyclone is very good at removing large particulate, uh, generally over 10 to 20 uh, microns in diameter. So after the gas leaves the multi-cyclone, it comes into this gas conditioning chamber. And in here we have uh, a number of nozzles, spray nozzles, that recirculate uh, gas from the sump of this chamber uh, and spray down the hot gas so that it's cooled down to about 55 or 60 degrees C. So from the gas conditioning system, uh, this chamber, the gas flows through here and then comes through that duct there into this blower. And from the blower, we force it into the wet scrubbing system. So here in the wet scrubber, we have two heads that are located at these two flanges. And the, above the heads, there's a turbulent zone of highly interactive mixture of water, scrubbing water, and fluidized gas. Um, the gas and water mix very intimately, and that's what really gives you the, the scrubbing action for uh, the acid gases. These two heads allow you to uh, do a primary and then polishing step to any of the uh, reactions that are happening, whether it's particulate removal or acid gas removal. So the gas coming from the scrubbing system goes into the bottom of the wet ESP and then flows upward through 10 inch tubes that have electrodes in, at the center of them. Those electrodes are uh, kept at, a, at about 69,000 volts and so they uh, are very effective in charging the particles and in removing the particles at high efficiency. The particulate and the, and the gas stream flows through the tube up to the top. The charges that are put onto the part, particulate make a, the gas cleaner and cleaner as it rises higher and higher. So as a result of the testing that we've done here in uh, England, we've been able to demonstrate that we can remove uh, particulate matter, acid gases including hydrogen chloride, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen fluoride, uh, metals grouped as metals 2 and metals 3, and dioxins and VOCs through our system in a single pass uh, to levels significantly below those required by the British EA and WID. The results are significant and we see that as being a very bright for our future. So this is our, our final gas stream as it's uh, after it's been cleaned. We've installed these lights to illuminate what's the, the gas that's flowing through the tube. And we're going to turn off the west, the power to the west, electrodes, and what you'll see is a, a cloud of, of particulate laden mist that is not being removed anymore coming through this tube. And then we'll turn it back on and you'll see that that particulate laden mist has now been removed.
Yeah, for myself as a founder of the company and watching the development of the system from its absolute inception through the early days of testing and now with installations, pilot plants and a very, very successful test here in England. It's uh, very uh, proud to be part of that and also have a system that was so uh, impactful on the environment, something that will clean the air and make the world a better place.